Alright, this is the video for my CSC258 assembly project. I'm just going to set up the tools first. Um, I'm going to make sure we have a decent sized display. Okay, well, let's go. So, as for Milestone 2, at first we were required to implement a moving system. As you can see, I'm still pressing A and it's not letting me go past the border. Um, I can show you that on the other side as well. Um, let's see. So I'm still pressing B, not letting me move. So I have a moving system within bounds. Um, additionally, for milestone two, we were supposed to implement the health system. You can see that in the bottom left. There are three bars representing the health of the ship. Every game you start with three bars, you reach zero bars, it's game over, and you lose one bar for every obstacle that you uh, come into contact with. So as for milestone three, uh, firstly I implemented the counting system, which counts the number of obstacles you have avoided thus far in the game. You can see that at the bottom right of the screen. Um, Additionally, for Milestone 3, I implemented a levels system. So the levels are dependent on how many obstacles you've missed. Uh, for example, currently we're in level 1, and we will enter level 2 at the 50 obstacles missed threshold. So that'll be in not too long from now. Um, with each level, the obstacles change color, shape, um, size, and then the last the last uh, thing I did for my milestone three was implement an increase in difficulty. So uh, that is kind of corresponding to the uh, level change. So at the change of each level, there you go, the objects will become faster and bigger as a result of their size and orientation change, um, making the game more difficult. And so yeah, this is level two. There's a third level at the 150 obstacles missed threshold. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty straightforward game. You can see there's no flickering uh, that uh, impairs me from playing the game. Very smooth. Uh, at, only at two points in the duration of the game will the entire screen be wiped fully black. And that is when you press P to restart. It wipes everything on the screen. It starts from fresh. And then also right before it displays the game over screen, which you want to make sure that there's nothing on the screen except for the game over message and your score. So those are the only two points in which the entire screen is wiped black. Um, otherwise, whenever the ship is moving or the obstacles are moving, only what was previously drawn on the screen gets wiped black. Um, so yeah, you can see I hit an obstacle and one of my health bars was removed. I have two lives left. I'm going to try and make it to level 3 here. Uh, but yeah, pretty straightforward game. It gets a little bit more difficult than level 3. The uh, obstacle size and speed increases. I chose not to um, create more than 5 obstacles on the screen at a time, mainly because I figure if the obstacles are getting bigger and faster, I think more obstacles would just add to the chaos. I feel like less than five obstacles made the game way too easy, and then having more than five obstacles at a later level would make it way too hard. So I just settled on keeping five obstacles throughout. Um, I probably could have went to six, uh, maybe at some point, but as for this project, it is just five. So here's level three, you can see color change, uh, obstacle change in both size and orientation. Um, and the game is now more difficult because they are faster and bigger. Um, so I'm going to show you, I'll get clipped on the wing here, lose a health, and then on my other wing, now it's game over. Very detailed and complex game over screen. Uh, which also displays your final score and then you press P to play again just like that we are back at the beginning 
three health, level one, slow obstacles, small obstacles. And the process begins again. So you can press P at any time to restart. Just like that. And yeah, that's my game. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it.